least the names of the two students who were flown to the burn unit, so we can't check for you on what their conditions are. But when we arrived this morning, a lot of parents were here upset about what they saw uh, running up to the school, and that's where Portia Johnson's going to pick up this story. Yeah, Matt, actually parents tell me that they were terrified when they heard the news. All they could think about was, is my child okay? Is my child okay? And when they came to the school, they were relieved to find out that their child was uh, not injured. Still, this was a big wake-up call for them, in addition uh, to trying to cope with what happened. When school let out today, some parents seemed a little disturbed by how long it took for the school district to notify parents about the fire. One parent says she was contacted about three hours after the incident happened. Fire can happen anywhere. It's just the school should have contacted parents a lot sooner than they did. Than they did? So they never really contacted you? Not until 2 o'clock. Yeah, uh, several parents uh, tell me that they found out through pace, Facebook or text message or uh, by watching uh, News 8. Now, we did talk to the superintendent. She says uh, the parents whose children were injured uh, during this fire were notified directly and immediately uh, other parents were notified through email. Back to you guys. All right, Portia, thank you. And, of course, Matt Barcaro. And make sure you stay.